In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a profile for day and night settings on an IP camera. First we're going to log into the IP camera using the default username and password. This password will be found on the label on the box for your IP camera. Here we can see there is a setting tab. This is where we can set up our day and night profile. So we'll click the setting tab. Now before we actually set up a profile, it's extremely important that we set up the date and time settings so they are accurate. Otherwise your day and night profile will be useless. So first we're going to go under system, into general. Here we can see there's a general tab and then a date and time tab. For this video I've already set up the time settings, but I've selected the time zone to be the Eastern Standard Time Zone. You can either sync PC or you can set up your NTP server. In order for your camera to keep its time, we recommend setting up the NTP server settings or enabling them by default. They are already set up with the correct server port and interval and you can also modify the info interval if you so choose. However, for daylight savings time, you will want to select week and this is for the North American daylight savings time. The start time is March, the second week, Sunday, the second hour, and then November, first week, Sunday, again, 2 a.m. Then you're of course going to want to save these settings. It'll ask you if you want to enable NTP and automatically synchronize. You're going to want to click OK to enable that and save it. And again, I already had mine synced up to the current date on my PC in the current time on the Eastern Coast. So in order to set up a profile, I'm going to go back under Camera, Conditions. On the right hand side, I can see there is a Profile Management tab. I'm going to click the Profile Management tab. And here's where I can set up the schedule or a day and night. And for this particular example, I'm going to set up a schedule. So now you're going to want to actually look up for your area where your sunrise and sunset times are. Where I am, it happens to be 6 a.m., around 6 a.m. when the sun rises. And this doesn't have to be perfect. And then for sunset, it's sometime around 7.30 p.m. So that's going to be around 19.30 here. And I'm going to click Save. So this shows how much nighttime profile I have and how much daytime profile I have. Now I'm going to click Save to save my schedule. Now to set up my profiles, I'm going to go to Conditions. So as we can see, there is a daytime profile, a nighttime profile, and then a general profile. Since we've set it to the schedule setting, it's mainly going to use our daytime or nighttime profile based on the schedule that we've set. So here we can see in the daytime profile, we can modify the brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, gamma. We can have it mirror itself. We could flip the image. Uh, inside of exposure here, we can select an outdoor, a 50 hertz or 60 hertz setting for anti-flicker. For the mode, we can even come into the shutter priority and change the shutter speed. Uh, we could go to manual and it gives us even more options for the shutter speed. And then we can set the gain. However, I'm going to set it back to auto. Here we can see there's a 3D noise reduction. This is a feature set on all of or most of our IP cameras and you're going to want to leave that on and then you can select the grade to which you'd like it to reduce the noise. And this is primarily a good setting for nighttime as in during daytime you're not going to get too much noise happening because there's no IR lights happening. And the backlight setting we can change it to backlight compensation, headlight compensation or the WDR setting which is wide dynamic range. This is mainly good for if you have a foreground and or a background with different lighting levels to even those out and, and these settings will help you alleviate some of those inconsistencies that you'll get in your video. And the WB stands for white black setting. Here we can set it to a natural setting street lamp, outdoor, manual, or regional custom settings. And again, this is the color settings or white black settings for your camera. Again, I'm going to leave this as auto. Here in day night setting, I can set it to a black and white, or I can set it to color, or I can set it to auto. Now auto is actually going to rely on the camera's image sensor or light sensor on the front of the camera based on how much light is actually coming into that sensor to choose whether or not to be in black and white mode or color mode. And then I can set the sensitivity to high or low and then also set the delay. So if I want it to not switch so fast, I would increase my delay. If I wanted to switch right away, I would decrease my delay. And then again, sensitivity is how much light actually needs to come into the light sensor before it will switch modes. The illuminator setting actually refers to the IR lights from your camera. 
So here we can either set it to auto, manual, which allows us to adjust the brightness, or we can turn them off. In this instance, I'm going to leave them set to auto. So I'm just going to leave all of these day settings as normal. In nighttime, I could also modify the same settings. For example, I would maybe want to turn on headlight compensation, which is going to fix and dim my photo if there were headlights pointed at my camera. If, for example, if this was at an entrance, I would do WDR. If I know there's going to be street lamps out on the edge, it's going to brighten up my photo to combat those street lights or street lamps making my photo washed out. And then also we could do backlight compensation again similar to WDR where if there's street lights or really bright lights outside that are going to try and wash out my photo it's going to increase the brightness to compensate for that. Here in the balance this is white balance again these are going to be in my color settings not going to really modify with those too much and then here I can set it to a black and white if the light sensor is not doing a very good job then I can set it to a black and white mode or I can leave it on auto. And the illuminator again is going to be your IR lights and you're usually going to set them to auto or um, manual depending on again if your camera does actually react to your light settings and gives you the desired IR lights. And then you could of course set them to manual but and adjust the brightness but we're going to go ahead and leave them as auto because for our particular camera it's doing a good job when that happens and again we can set the backlight to off because our conditions are okay but you will want to play around with your day and night profiles if you have any issues with the image going into black and white mode or if you need to enable some of these backlight settings to get a better picture at nighttime. Hopefully this video helps you understand some of the day and night profile settings. Thank you for watching.